watching this for the whole night if I can't figure out what to do. It's a lovely shot. Especially given how awful it is out cold yeah. day. How do we how do we move this? Does anybody how do we Advanced picture. Push, 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 enter. Push, enter. On a computer. On the computer. Well, now you don't have to. Okay. There you go. Oh, there you go. How do you nice. build a wooden? Can you put it up a little higher? Get higher in the screen. Tilt it up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. How do you build a wooden boat? One stick at a time. Uh, the previous picture was laying out the lines on the floor of the ballroom above the Universal Store, <laughs> full size. And then uh, over here is Maynard Bray, and I don't know who's next, Paul Bates and George bringing in the keel. This is in our side yard in Noank. There's a lot of handwork on this project. That's cutting the rabbit. And we had help. Small help, big help, that's Ed Chapin on the right. He came down every single day to check the progress. That's putting up the um, Kielsen, uh, whatever it's called. And that's raising the transom. And there's Ed again checking the progress. Um, and he had help, Jeffrey Jones, Gary, and Hudson in the back. <laughs> and that's, uh, we lived in the house where Paul and Mary Ellen DeShane live now. That was our shed, the, Paul has built a much larger capacious shed. Um, on the top of the shed is the moaning chair. Where you could, that was the only place you could see the entire project at once. <laughs> so if you, this is raising the stem on the left. You came by, you might be pressed into service. That's Dr. Bill Andrews from um, Mumford Cove, I think he was. Yeah. Um, and Tanglewood. he was um, Tanglewood. Tanglewood. Okay, he was in charge of holding up the stem at that point. <laughs> Can everybody hear back there? No. So, okay. okay. Can you be strong for you, oh, can, can, yeah, If you can hand it to me, that'd be great. Yeah, that yeah. Speak out if you can't hear. Yeah. <laughs> All you need is another pair of hands. Yeah, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. Can you hear me back there now? No? Better? Yeah. Uh, how's that? Okay. There we go. Okay, this is carrying out the, the mold for the hull. That's Gary and George carrying that out on the backbone of the, of the boat. Um, this is the boat with all the frames, the molds in, and the ribbands on to give the shape. Now, this is where we had a party. Oops, let me... I don't know how to go back. Push so. the arrow that goes the other direction. There are two arrows on each side. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. This is back. This is back. I don't see it going back. Anyway, this is um, the, the framing party. That's Doug Van Sant, the little boy. Oh, good. And Sandy. And John Sutkin's back. And uh, the red shirt is Sandy Van Sant. And I'm not. That's Hudson in the blue and t-shirt, um, and Gary in the brown, and I think Dougie again. Um, and that's working up on getting the frames in. They were steamed in a box, a steam box, and then put in hot, and everybody had to clamp like mad to get them to keep the shape before they changed. That's Earl Gale in the, Earl Gale in the white, and I can't tell you who the people down in the boat are. <laughs> Um, that's Earl Gale and Bob Morse up on the top, and I think Earl Gale's wife and my brother, and George in the Navy t-shirt, and they're clamping frames. And that's Sydney, Vance Ant, <laughs> Rosie the Riveter, <laughs> and Hudson's taking the bolts out of the, the ribbands so that we can use them again later, I'll show you where. And that we needed some muscle, so we got Orion Ford next door to help put in the shear clamps. And there he is, muscling it in with a clamp and putting that in. And this is where the uh, the uh, the back one was the the planks and the dead wood took a 90 degree turn in 14 feet. 
so they had to be steamed. Um, and the stage you're looking at now is when the boat looked like a big bird cage. <laughs> it was really fun to get in. Um, you could see the boat when you came over the bridge into town because it was right there um, behind Orion Forts uh, in our side yard where, like I say, where Paul's shop is now. Um, this, he worked all winter. Luckily, we didn't have much snow putting in the, um, I can't remember what they're called. I'm kind of rabbit. <laughs> Anyway, the, the, you know, Paul, what are those? The transom leaves, okay, bulwarks. And this is the hull planked up, and you can see the ladder up to the morning chair to check everything out. <laughs> putting in the cabins, and putting on, the, there's where all the bolts are, along the base of the cabin, so there were, and all the scraps of lumber were used on the inside. Um, we were from Chicago, and we came to Nolink in 1964, and um, 1965, and, and uh, it took us 13 years to get this project underway, and uh, it was, we got here and people said, how can that kid from Chicago build anything? That, you know, how's he going to know? But Nolink, it just, we just absorbed everything from this wonderful village with all its nautical heritage, and particularly from Jack Wilbur and Fred Cousins and Major Smith. Um, and they were just, every, they were just so supportive. And finally when it got to the side, uh, well before it got to the real hull, people kept saying, oh look, you ought to go check out what Maynard's got going in the backyard. <laughs> so here's the boat ready for the launching, just about. And there's the house in the yard and the boat. So that's what I mean, you could see the boat coming in coming over the bridge behind the firehouse. So we took it down. I don't know if you people can recognize yourselves. They're pretty small um, in the backs. That's Billy Pratt and Billy Singer. I think they look a little different now. And we had a party and half, I, I'm sure the whole village came out. And like I say, if you can recognize your coat or your hat, um, you might remember who you, where you were. This is down at the Noank shipyard on November 11, 11 1972. Two. And that's Jack Wilbur, Jeffrey Jones, Ed Chapin, and George. Um, that's Dave McCain. And I think that's Pat Wilbur in the, um, the Aaron sweater brown with the white on the back, and I don't recognize anybody else. Bill, uh, Jim Pratt in the trench coat up on the stage. Um, and Steve talked. And Julie Sutphin talked. And Jeffrey talked. <laughs> And Jim Pratt blessed the boat, and I smashed the bottle. <laughs> and I don't know if you can recognize any of you kids there in the front. Um, I don't know. That's my sister-in-law in the red hat taking a picture. And there, it floated. Uh, we asked, uh, George asked uh, Howard Davis if he would cock the boat. And Howard said no, but he would teach him, so he did. And we never had a drop. We had a put the boat in, and we had a all night pump watch, and there was not a drop in the boat all night. No and ever. water. Right? No water. There was a drop, yes, but not water. And the next day, well, Johnson came by with Helen, the boat Helen, and towed us around to Groton Long Point, where we put the interior of the boat built the interior. Um, that's basically what it will look like under construction with the wood burning stove in the uh, corner. This is, we came back to the Noank Anchorage, which you might not recognize because there's no boats, <laughs> um, but that's it to put the mast in. Um, this is the mast under construction. And then of course they had to rig it, that's Gary helping. And Paul, um, the chain plates going on, which were not did not work out very well. And Paul DeShane helped step the mast. 
and Roy Burdick made the sails. And there's our auxiliary power, 16-foot oars, which worked very well if it wasn't windy. And then we loaded up stores, beans and tea and other things, and loaded them aboard. This is the in between the two cabins. We followed uh, the lines from Slocum's book, but we had to reverse the cabins because we couldn't fit the accommodations in the little cabin forward and the big cabin aft, so we did it the other way. And then we loaded firewood for the wood-burning stove. And we were ready to go. So cheers. <laughs> and off we went. Yeah. <laughs>